The martial arts of Japan, which have been transmitted from olden times, are not for the purpose of defeating one's opponent with power or weapons, nor for leading the world to destruction. The aim of true martial arts is the achievement of happiness and world peace through the training of one's own body. This is Iwama Machi, located in Ibaragi Prefecture. Here is where the founder of Aikido, Morihei Ueshiba, devotes himself to spiritual martial arts training. Both the Kashima Shrine of Hitachi, in whose center is located Mount Tsukuba, and the Katori Shrine of Shimofusa in Chiba Prefecture, were regarded as the seats of martial deities by the samurai warriors. This is Morihei Ueshiba, whose bearing bespeaks the manner of an old-style martial artist. The importance of the Kashima and Katori shrines for the martial arts dates back as far as the Heian period some 1500 years ago, where they are mentioned in an old collection of songs. Master Ueshiba is intent in his practice and study of the martial arts, whose true nature he considers to be love, while mentally offering prayers to the martial kami, or deities. One of the poems of the founder reads, the great universe, which is the path of Aiki, becomes the light for all people and opens up the world. There are no grappling or pushing movements in Aikido techniques. Victory or defeat is decided at the instant one touches his opponent. There are more than 200 basic techniques in Aikido, while the number of applied techniques is countless. The Aikido spirit, where mind and body are combined, is created in this silent atmosphere. Like a spiral movement with a single center, the movements in Aikido techniques utilize centrifugal and centripetal forces to draw the power of the opponent into one's own key flow, like a spinning top. Aikido throws are executed with this power. The founder throws his opponents lightly as if dancing, and they haven't the least idea from where the power which is down them has come. 
Kiri Minake. Kokyunage. This is a technique for throwing the opponent while not opposing his power, but by absorbing it naturally into one's own. Kaitenage. This is a technique where the opponent falls by himself if he is thrown by leading his key forward. Tori Shihonage. The founder mastered the secrets of several martial arts, including Daito Ryu Jiu Jitsu, Yagyo Ryu, Ayoi Ryu, and Hozoin Ryu. When he holds a jo or staff, it becomes an aiki jo. When he holds a ken or sword, it becomes an aiki ken. With his kokyu power, he can easily throw his strongest students using their own power. <laughs> Examples of frontal power and lateral power. There are techniques for throwing an opponent using the strengths and weaknesses inherent in vertical pushing and horizontal extension power. The master is enthusiastic in cultivating the spirits of his young students. Martial arts are love. The eye of Aiki leads to the eye of love of heaven and earth and all beings. Martial arts are an expression of the love of all living things. The master teaches that the combination of this spirit and these techniques develop fine people and strong techniques. The birthplace of the founder is the Kumano region of Kishu province in present-day Wakayama prefecture. At the age of five, he studied the nine Chinese classics. At the age of six, he studied Japanese and Chinese classical literatures. At the same time, he also practiced martial arts. However, he learned that the cultivation of the mind comes first in the training of the martial arts. As a result of his interest in religion, he also studied philosophy. He once pursued the study of Zen by secluding himself in a mountain. 
His martial arts training thus led to his interest in religion. <clears throat> ご the founder has just read a spiritual poem of his own composition containing Shinto symbology and describing the essence of the concept of Ai or love in Aikido. The state of self-renunciation achieved through prayer is the Sabbath of the soul of the founder who has never ceased his pursuit of the path of martial arts. This state of mental calm also serves as the training ground for his vigorous spirit. The sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening. The founder understands the flow of the universe and has discovered the origin of the martial arts which exist within this flow. He creates new Aiki techniques from this source of inspiration. <laughs> This is the Aiki Shrine dedicated to the martial deities. In the outdoor dojo, the founder is absorbed in practicing spear techniques by himself. The ever-changing flow of yin and yang. The movement of the spear is so fast, it appears to be alive. The sharpness and sound of the sword wielded by the founder after inhaling spiritual ki are perceptible. With this sound, the blood surges through the master's body, and he never becomes tired even though executing hundreds of movements.
As a result of this training of his body and mind, the founder can sense someone's approach and the movement of their mind at all times and places, and has an uncanny ability to understand all things. It is said that he can sense anything, such as the sound of a distant spring, the sound of the formation of frost, and the faint swaying movement of withered leaves. His students sometimes silently come to attack the founder, but no one has succeeded. Those who practice the martial arts can never neglect training in darkness. They must practice to the point that they are capable of seeing things at night. Pushing up a heavy body is an exercise to strengthen one's hands. If one partially withdraws the power from his hand or slows his walking pace, it shows that he has not yet acquired an understanding of the essence of Aikido. This free body turning movement is a way of warming up before practice. Strict practice begins. We see splendid Aikido techniques such as Irimi Tenkan, Kote Gaishi, and Kokyunage.
If the master takes his opponent's arm in a reverse grab and pulls it backward like this, the student is unable to resist from his prone position, while the founder remains standing. Thus, he is unable to stand even though held by a single finger. The master quickly moves his body, sensing the opponent's flow of ki, and executes a technique by harmonizing his power. Each movement, although appearing to be unrelated, is a wonderful technique which depends on the essence and principles of Aikido. This kind of strict training creates individuals who are expert in the martial arts and spiritually advanced. This is called Shinken Moshiawase, which involves a series of prearranged movements using a live blade. The master tests the level of his student's understanding of the martial arts with the real sword. The highest ideal of mankind is to achieve mastery in a given pursuit. The spiritual, exquisite technique of Aikido master Morihe Ueshiba will be transmitted forever to all generations in the annals of martial lore.